Hello, I'm the painting guy and today I will teach you about the greatness but also the difficulties of painting vibrant. For this look you don't want to have contrast or saturation. That would be putting something desaturated next to something saturated. For a vibrant look you want everything to be saturated. You also want to keep a strong contrast between lights and shadows. But since adding any white or black will decrease the saturation you will need to do your highlights and shadows with colors. It's tricky but worth it. Now the painting. I started everything up with a dark purple that is saturated enough to keep the vibrant feel but not too saturated to be distracting. I continued with a bluish green over a yellowish green almost up to pure yellow. This gives me green as my main color while simultaneously establishing the complementary colors yellow and purple. For the golden bits I began my color journey with a dark purple moving up over brown towards yellow. Like with a green from dark purple towards yellow. I used a rough painting technique with thick paint but only small steps in my color path. This approach tells me fast if I like the colors that I am painting and lets me be flexible for changes. Too many times I have spent long times blending only to realize that the colors just don't fit. So paint rough first and refine later. With a silver I started again from dark purple up to blue and finally do white. Paint it raw. Let it out. When I think about it, this brown really looks like crap. Repaint number one. To bring everything together and add definition, I mixed up a thin oil brush from transparent blue, transparent red and opaque black. It makes it simultaneously dark and saturated. 